Hi everyone, welcome back. So now we are going to continue from where we left last time. Now uh, we've already written some part of our echo client where we are just reading a string from the keyboard and we are sending it to the server. Now let's write some uh, code for the server. So I'm going back to the server and the first thing which we are going to do over here is read the string which the client has sent, right? And for doing that, uh, again, we are going to need the buffered reader over here. So I'll say buffered reader in is equal to new buffered reader, new input stream reader, soc dot get input stream, right? So first, uh, let me just import uh, these classes. So again, I'll say import java dot io dot star, which will import all the classes which uh, belongs to the io package, right? Now, just observe over here. Uh, I'm saying buffered reader br, uh, not br, sorry, buffered reader in is equal to new buffered reader, new input stream reader, soc dot get input stream. So there is a difference uh, in the two buffered readers, right? So if you go back to the client, over here we are seeing system dot in. So this system dot in is used for reading data from the keyboard. But on the server side, we don't have to read data from the keyboard. We want to read data from the sockets input stream, right? And for that purpose, I've written soc dot get input stream over here. So this buffer reader is used for reading data from the sockets input stream, whereas this buffer reader is used for reading data from the keyboard, right? So that is a major difference in both of these. So yes, we have the buffer reader and then we are going to use that buffer reader object for reading the string, right? So again, I'll say string str is equal to in dot read line, which will read uh, the line or string and capture it in this variable. Okay. And yes, now after that, we are going to send the same string back to the client, right? So I'm going to say print writer out is equal to new print writer soc dot get output stream. Okay. So we are going to send the string to the sockets output stream and then I'm writing true. Okay. So after that, I'll say out.println server says str. Okay, so this statement will send uh, this particular string, which is server says, and it will append the same string which we got from the user or the client, and it will send it to the client, right? So we are done with our server side code. Now let's go back to the client. And here we are going to just read the data which the server has sent and display it on the screen. So we are going to need another buffer data over here, which will read data from the sockets input stream, right? Okay, so it will read the data which the server has sent. And in the next statement, we are just going to print the data. Okay, so whatever the server has sent, we are just going to print it on the screen. So let's run this application and see if it works. So first we'll have to run the server. So I'm running the server. Okay, I think we got some exceptions. So let me just stop everything and try again. Okay, and uh, I think there's some error over here. Let me terminate everything. Okay. Yeah, so let's start our server. And yes, it is waiting for clients. Now let's go back to the client and run our client. Oh, we're getting some error over here. So I'm not sure what this error is. Mm, okay, let me terminate everything. Start fresh. Okay, let's start it. Waiting for clients. And yes, uh, it's working now. So on the client side, uh, it's asking us to enter a string. So I'll say hello, okay, and enter. And we are getting this message, server says hello. Okay, so this string has gone to our server and the server has sent us back this particular string, which says, server says hello. So our eco application is working perfectly fine. If you like my tutorials, do subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.